In the previous section, we learned how to recognize objects. In this section, we are going to recognize the color of objects and use it to call functions. Okay, in this step, we want to use the example of uh, color detection of OpenCV and use the colors for a trigger of any function and any tasks. Okay. Uh, let's go to the OpenCV for Unity and Examples and Advanced and uh, we have a folder it's called Multi Object Tracking Based on Color example. Okay, this is the basic and simple uh, and also a uh, complete example of uh, color detection, but it can detect just four colors uh, red blue uh, green and yellow okay uh, let's just with playing the scene okay as you can see it can detect the red and blue and it can point uh, put the circle or the mesh around the, that point and also you can see the position related to zero zero is from here zero zero is here so in here 150 or 145 and 156 something and also if I want to use the green you can see the green screen in here as well so it can detect blue green and red simultaneously okay first uh, we need to make another scene from this one and save as in the scenes folder I call it color detection okay <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, now I need to click on Event System and and click on Replace with Input System UI Input Module to fix that uh, error compiler problem. So uh, exactly like the object detection we have mentioned in the previous clip, we need to monitor the final result of the detection. So uh, as you can see, the system of the quad of this monitor is the same with uh, webcam texture and also FPS monitor but the component of the uh, color detection is different it's called multi object tracking based on color so we can monitor the final result here okay uh, you can add any function or any variable to this script because it's uh, it works with mono behavior and it is very good for us for sure and we can use their function about drawing object so what is the object it is out drawing contours and circle around that color we have detected and also the putting the text as a position of that uh, pixel and uh, the red or green or blue or uh, yellow name of the color will appears by will appear by this part so uh, I can say the final result we are looking for is this one the, uh, the color objects uh, I get type this one get type so if you want to have a uh, color targets we can define here public uh, we need to say string uh, color target okay and the same method like uh, object detection we can add public uh, about in before this 
using unity engine dot events now we can define unity event for example color uh, target detected order and we'll have we can have another one for when we don't uh, detect uh, our color target but for now we can start with uh, these two parameters so we come back here for monitoring the color code so in here we can add another line to this script and I will say if the object the object color the color objects uh, crucial I uh, get type we can say dot to string okay will be equal with our target color or oh, sorry color target that's it okay so try to uh, detect it now target detected order dot invoke and that's it now let's come back to the unit editor and we will see any variables coming here that's it the color target we will say for example when we detect color green in the rest of the our screen the whole screen and uh, what will happen when we detect something uh, exactly like in the previous uh, clip I want to add a cube and increase the size for example like this but something like this okay but this time put it this way uh, 50 or 50 something and uh, I will add uh, that uh, object detection test yeah this one okay I made a per uh, in the previous clip I made a simple script for um, such examples uh, functions for example change transition of the cube or reset the transform change the rotation to zero 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 so you can call any functions you want so uh, it's just an example you can define any function for example when we detect a color green uh, we will uh, ro uh, you know, rotate our UGV to right or when we detect color red uh, try to uh, recognize the face I don't know or I don't know send uh, a message to the monitoring system or anything you want whatever you want so in the quad and the monitor system uh, I will add this cube to here and call the function object detection test for change the transform as far as you know we can define any other functions and they will work together simultaneously so there is no limitations for a uh, count of functions okay so the method is here when we detect the color green uh, the object rotation will be uh, exactly 0 27 34 okay let's bring my phone for color green okay there is no color green yet and when we have it works
Bravo. Okay. Now we can make it more complicated when we add another function for uh, here public and uh, don't not sorry don't target uh, detected for example in here when it is not equal our target color dot invoke okay when the color we have detecting right now the all colors in the screen are not equal with our color target try to call these functions so you can define any functions you want for example your UGV has an option for going forward when you detect the color red the UG will stop but when the UGV doesn't detect the color red okay let's continue into forward so it is the uh, basic functionality for the object uh, color detection so we will add a quote in here and I will say when we don't uh, detect the green color try to reset transform okay we will see how it works now it has to be like this and now perfect it works well bravo okay we have the color detection and also triggering the final result of the color and uh, we can use it as a trigger for uh, call any function we want okay let's go to the next step